Ten years ago, funeral services in New Zealand were very similar, with the same sorts of songs, hymns and the same sort of format. But more and more frequently, Kiwis are choosing to make their funerals unique. So how do you do that? Well, I've come to H. Morris today to talk to Dean Maxted to find out more. So you've been doing this job, Dean, for a while now. What sort of changes have you seen? The most obvious one, I suppose, in the last you know, 50 or so years has been a, a move from um, church-based services to uh, more secular services. And with that, you know, making it about the person, there is a trade-off, though. If it gets too far along that way, they tend to become karaoke, you know, lightweight things. And it, and it bears remembering that there's a, there's a dead person in the room. We celebrate their lives, to be sure, but we're also mourning their loss. I love what you said before about less formal. I guess things are changing fast in the world. I guess you've seen things like hand-painted coffins, streaming services, all these sort of different technologies that are being implemented into yeah. funeral services. Can you tell us a bit more about what you've seen? The technology side of things has become more and more prevalent. Um, slideshows are great. You see an arc of a life from a, a baby to a child to a young man or woman newly married, first kid, old age, and here we are. You know, so you see that arc, and that's lovely. The uh, live streaming's helpful because we have such a disparate uh, population. You know, a lot of people overseas, family overseas, and sometimes it's realistic for them to travel home, and sometimes it's not. Speaking of change, have you noticed a difference between the amount of people that are buried traditionally in the ground and cremated? The trend, I suppose, has been more toward cremation. With that, not all families will accompany this deceased to the point where the, where, where the person is going into the cremator. As you would if you were burying somebody. You'd be a witness, you'd be there as they were lowered into the ground. So there's a little bit of a, a remove introduced in its way has developed, I suppose, into more the idea that it's okay to have a direct cremation, not to have a service at all. I'm not sure if a direct cremation does enough for the living. Often can miss out on a, on a community support so what does that mean for what you can provide here? You know, I listen to the family. One of the questions I ask is, is there, is there a church association? It leads straight in, well, your church. That would be the obvious place to have, have the service. And if not, then have you thought about using our chapel or lounge? Whatever makes sense for the, for the family and the person who died, we'll try and incorporate that. What about transportation? Yeah, we've got a couple of different vehicles. We're part of a bigger group, so we've got a large pool of cars that, you know, if one car suited more than another, then you just call that in. We've had a guy who died, his grandson had a hot rod a station wagon. He was a horse trainer, so we went around the racetrack and his grandson's hot rod wagon. It was Brilliant. great. And it was perfect. It was because yeah. it mattered for that family. And that goes on after the funeral. So, memorialisation headstones. And that's actually quite a nice job to deal with families actually because right. the, the initial sting has gone often and there are other less formal things. Some families I take a portion of ashes for them for glass paperweights or jewellery. You know there's any number of things that can be tailored to suit what the family would like. And you can take people through all of that? Yeah, you know, it's not usually my first conversation, but you know, it's part of it. So Dean, just like funeral services have changed over the years, getting hold of you, that process has changed as well. You've still got the phone number, what else have you got? We've got a website, hmorris.co.nz, and we've got a Facebook page. 24-7? Yep, whenever you need us, just call us, we're there.